Be Quiet's new PureBase 500DX has three Pure Wings to 140mm fans pre-installed in a slightly unusual default configuration with one front fan, one rear exhaust and one top exhaust fan. Be Quiet believes that this configuration is the most optimal for the 500DX. So how does this fan configuration compare to others? Let's try to figure this out in today's video. Is it worth buying and adding extra fans like this? Or should we just stick with the default configuration? So before we get into the test, let's talk a little bit about this case first. The 500DX's primary design philosophy focuses on delivering excellent cooling performance and high airflow. It has a tempered glass window and mesh on the front and top. I particularly like the top mesh filter because it's nicely framed, unlike these kind of generic dust filters you get on most cases. There are also removable dust filters on the front and bottom for easy maintenance, a roomy interior for water cooling or high-end graphics cards, as well as ARGB lighting on the front panel and inside the top of the case. In today's test, for each configuration, we will run a 15-minute stress test of Prime95 blend mode to load the CPU and RAM, and Furmark to load the GPU. And to ensure that the testing conditions are consistent, we are testing in an air-conditioned environment and will set the GPU at 100% fan speed via afterburner, and the CPU and system fans to 100% fan speed via the BIOS. Then we'll take the maximum temperature for both the CPU and GPU to use as our basis to determine which fan configuration performed the best. So here are the fan configurations we are going to compare in today's test. The stock default configuration, which has one front intake, the top exhaust and rear exhaust fan, two front intake fans and one rear exhaust fan, two top intake fans, one rear exhaust fan, two top exhaust fans, and one rear exhaust fan, two front intake fans, two top intake fans, and one rear exhaust fan. And finally, two front intake fans, two top exhaust fans, and one rear exhaust fan. So here are the temperatures following the stress test ran for each of the fan layouts. Most of the layouts perform worse than the default, with only one three-fan layout giving similar, but not significantly better performance. As for our five-fan layouts, one performed worse than the default, with the other configuration giving only a slight decrease of one degree Celsius in max temperatures. Based on these results, I don't see the need to buy more fans or change the layout. So if I was buying the Be Quiet 500DX, I would just simply use the default three-fan configuration. That's all from me for today, but I hope you found this video interesting. If you'd like to learn more about the 500DX behind me or any of the other products used in today's video, such as the Pure Wings 2 fans, then be sure to check out below the video for a list of links. And with that, I'll see you all in the next video.